So I 100% copied Jacob with the clothes. <laughs> the UK box. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought it would be That funny. was even on my side of the <laughs> Yeah, I looked for it. You had it on your side of the closet. I was I was like, where's my shirt? I don't know why it was on my side of the closet. It said that the in the UK box were too soon for the Thailand box, it was the best, second best weirdest. On their Instagram they put the lamb and rosemary chips as the worst. When in fact on the website they say it's second best. I'm more so universally owned. Believe. You're stupid. <laughs> you are you trying to get sponsored or not? I'm correcting them. They need someone <laughs> to correct their advertising and post. Well, I'm more inclined to manager. believe that uh, their social media. I'm imagining the social media was wrong because they've never had worst on the site. It's always been best, second best, and weirdest. Anyways, welcome back. Shy boy six one six eats with JJ Kazoo and the Red Man. Mr. Blue, Blue Sky. Right. Where are we going today? Where are we going today? If they clicked on the video, they already know. Where are we going today? Mine. All right. It's... Whoa. I think this book will, will capture it a little bit What better. are you doing? We got to show the map. <laughs> okay. <there we> go. <laughs> Our viewers probably aren't that literate. We know most of them. All right. We got mini lentil samosas. Stuffed with spicy lentils, cashews, and raisins. I'm not Sounds liking the sound weird. of this. It looks interesting. I don't mind the lentils, But, though. let's see it. Say hello to India's most famous, most beloved, and most well-traveled snack, samosa. These spicy, crunchy <laughs> snacks got their start as portable meals for traveling Iranian merchants. Like sandwiches, like, but better. As oh, the merchants made their way across man. the Asian continent, they <laughs> brought the salty, the like, pyr little pyramids with them. Salty little pyramids? Am I supposed to eat this, this all at once? I don't want to eat a salty little Seven pyramid. Seven servings per pouch. I would pouch. imagine this is me pyramids are salty. Wait, is a serving so. salty? Wait. Salty? Sandy. Not salty. No, I would imagine they're salty. Uh, but it wasn't until a pit stop in India that the snack really caught and uh, was declared fit for a sultan. Uh, their popularity skyrocketed across the country and the samosas made their way into the hands of citizens into supermarkets over the ocean. It's and kind of big. Yeah, box. this is big. This looks like... It's it not really bite-sized. And this doesn't no, look like it was supposed to be like a chip. sandwich. It's a, it's, it's this is going to be really messy. <laughs> it's not a snack, really. I mean, it's going to be messy if you want to bite into it. Like, if you just one bite the whole thing. Well, would you consider a jalapeno pepper a snack? Yeah. They're, they're about the same size. It's a... What's it called? Crunch wrap no, supreme. It's not a, an appetizer. Bone appetizer. That's what it is. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I mean, it's really good, actually. This is like, I just order this or I cook this somewhere, you know what I mean? This reminds me of um, when I was in El Salvador, we had some empanadas from this little stand. This is exactly what they tasted like. Mine didn't taste that like dish. It is a little spicy. Them. There's a little bit of spice. There's no raisin. I don't taste it. Oh yeah, this is pretty good actually. It's really flavorful. Did you write me? <laughs> I like no, leave it. I like that you're getting funnier Jake each time you do this. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob literally would be that guy who's like on his on like his paper when he's writing for school. It'll be me instead of his name. <laughs> All right, I give that a good. That's a really good. That's really good. Looks really good. <laughs> like even better than like Make it, it delicious. That's a big Excellent. Just, Wait, what do you just think? Just wow. It? Let's see. Wait, what do you think? I don't think it's just wow. But what else is there? You think it's just okay? No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I so just was, give us one big smile. Why did you ask me what I meant? Because <laughs> you said it's more than good. <laughs> Jacob, we're limited to a three tier score. <laughs> he made another tier, it's not my fault. No, you, he's just certain more about than what he good would be excellent. <laughs> just wow, dude. It's all over your finger. Oh, Jacob, you're not that white. Come on, stop coughing. It's not that spicy. It I thought you liked spicy. I love spicy. Can't handle this spice. Alright. Coconut One of the flavored best sugar inwards. cookies. Delicate biscuits sprinkled with sugar. This next treat brings us to Kerala, which literally translates to the land of coconut trees. It's only natural that Kerala earns such a fitting title, since a whopping 46% of India's coconuts are grown there. Oh. That's just coconuts. So we're getting the more jokes coconut? are worse every time, I swear. Every time the jokes get worse, and, ours get better though. So and they're not more. just for eating either. Hindus and Buddhists use coconuts in special rituals, while local craftsmen use the husk to make tools and art. We'll stick to eating them though. Ooh, coconuts. 
So more coconuts from last time. Your favorite thing, right, Austin? I mean, I really did enjoy the coconut. Although you were impressed last time, so. Salty coconut. Maybe I don't dislike coconut as much whenever it's. You hate Americanized coconuts. Yeah. Which, no. that's actually kind of fair. This smells very coconutty. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a very subtle coconutty <laughs> biscuit. <laughs> They're pretty nice. Oh wow, really? Wait, 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 was it said on the package? I didn't even notice. I oh, there's sugar sprinkled. I thought that was salt. I mean, it does have a little bit of a salty flavor. <sighs> Alright, well that was... Nice. I mean, it's a pretty... It's nice! Honestly, for like all the dry biscuits we've had, those are... Honestly, that's one of the better dry cookie things we've gotten. Yeah. I know you just have biscuit, but I'm American, so... Well, I mean... It's good though, I like it. See, a cookie's not that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cookie. Okay. Dark choco flavored, not chocolate, choco flavored sandwich cookies. Why? I don't know. It just says that. Bourbon. Before you start pulling out the fancy whiskey glasses, bourbon is just the name of the cookie. Ugh. These do not contain any alcohol. That's the point of bourbon. Really bon. Although, they likely go great with a glass or two. Um, oh, the glass or two. They're more traditionally <laughs> eaten with a cup of tea. Or two. In fact, these chocolatey sandwich cookies were originally brought over by the British oh, during colonial sick. rule. Uh, never Even mind. after India mm -hmm. became independent in 1947, That's everyone nice can agree that these chocolatey cookies are worth keeping around. You are... That, that one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Thank oh, you. Oh, it's chocolate filled. Yeah. They're sandwich cheese. I can't They're read it. Biscuit crackers. They said sandwich cheese. It says it cremica. Says Crem cremica. Are those salt? Right it's, here. That's cool. I think it's sugar again. Sugar crystals? I just spit the crystals. It's got a really nice smell. And flavor. Very choco? <laughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't call this chocolate. It's more like choco. <laughs> That's a good cookie right there. Because now. the chocolate is immediate, it's not late. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had chocolate in this form. These are like the best biscuits we've gotten so far, I think, is these Indian ones. Mm -hmm. Now, I hate to say it, but technically this is a British snack. <laughs> just, I no longer right. like them. Put a frowny. <laughs> Worst yum decided. We don't actually just write it in. It's just a meme. I promise. What? What? I promise. It's just a joke. <laughs> I give it a smile. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It. Yeah, that, that was delicious. Oh, I like the name of this next one. Maybe not it's nutritious, like, but it's on top delicious. Left. Doritos? No. Tika no. Masala what? corn chips. Ooh got the tandoori season. That's the thing we found out was like the UK's like food or whatever, right? Yeah, and it's Tiki one of my Sala? favorite dishes. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, if you tried our chip. United Kingdom box, yeah, you might remember the tikka masala was invented in Britain. Hey. So why is it also in the Indian I can't box? Mm -hmm. The reason lies in the name. Tikka refers to chunks of bonus marinated meat, while masala means seasoning. That means these chips are tikka seasoned. What, what does that mean for you? It means super spicy corn chips with all the flavor of tandoori, but no super spicy. These are meatless tikka masala chips. I was hoping they. I know. I was hoping for like meat. chunks of meat. <laughs> Remember the the Russia box where it was like meat flavored Ooh, chips? Smell that. Those were so smell bad. Smell that. Yeah, they got spicy. Wait, wait, wait. It smells like ramen seasoning. So this like Indian Doritos, pretty much. You know the ramen packets, like the cheap ones. I need another one. What? Whoa. What? Whoa. Oh, the spice is kicking in after, okay. Mm -hmm. This is... This is different. It's so weird. How does it kick in so late? That's what I was thinking, like, it's not even in my mouth anymore, I'm getting the spice. Yeah, it's like... I've already swallowed the chip and it's just now getting spicy in there. It's strange. That's the grossest you get wording the I could even. You get the full flavor of the chip, and then the spice. And the flavor's confusing me. Yeah, what is that flavor? I, I don't know if I'm mostly <laughs> tasting... Tandoori. I don't know if I'm mostly tandoori. taking the corn chip tandoori. itself, and that's what's wrong. Tandoori. It's spelled like this. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Tandoori. Yeah, that's how I assume it's said. Tandoori. It's weird because I feel like I'm tasting the chip more than whatever the seasoning is supposed to be. Yeah, and the aftertaste is very much just corn chip. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's okay. Uh, interestingly enough, one of the ingredients is pomegranate seed powder. 
Huh. I'm not sure what that does flavor-wise, but interesting. <laughs> I think it's part of the reason it's so weird. I think it's okay. I'm not going to say I don't need this, because I can snack on it. Yeah. They're not bad. Too. And the spice is actually kind of nice. It's not a, a horrible one. No, it's it's nice spice. I don't know how to describe that flavor at all. It's, it's mm. tandoori. Mm. There you go. Wait, what did y'all say? Okay? Or... Mm. I'm going to give it a... Okay. Even though tikka masala is like my favorite thing to eat, the chip As version... A, the chip's not so great. Not as good. Well, that's kind of fair because you know, it's like some like hamburger chips are kind of weird. What the hell did you... No. <laughs> you never had the Pringles cheeseburger? I Pringles actually... Pringles. No. Or did Lay's do it? One of the big chip brands did like a burger and it was kind of weird. The pizza chips though. Pizza chips are good. Pizza chips are always solid. Pizza flavored things The in Poland one was delicious. Creamy pistachio flavored candy. No, I put the autofocus off too fast. Indian ice cream cake candy. What? That's Kid a mouthful. Candy? Cake. Literally. Cake. Indian ice cream cake candy? Yeah. Understatement. India gets really hot. We're talking like 95 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> it's literally more than 95 degrees outside right now. But anyway, we're talking like 90 90 Texas, if y'all didn't know, we're done. Not an understatement. Ice cream is just the best way to beat the heat. That is true. It smells it's weird. Um, is this what the supposed to smell like? That's where cassada comes in. Strawberry and pistachio ice cream layer <laughs> between tender sponge cake and top of a mix of chopped nuts. These cassada inspired candies may not be cold like ice cream, but they definitely have reason. that milky, nutty flavor. That's milky, nutty. Oh, so amazing. I'm gonna. Uh, you sus? You saw the video. We all are. You saw the video. I was. I was the video. <laughs> you are the video. <laughs> I don't like pistachios. Oh. oh. I like pistachio ice cream. This is not what it's making me think of. This tastes different. Oh. It tastes like sweet potpourri. <laughs> it does taste like potpourri. The potpourri tastes like perfume. <laughs> What's that mean? You know the dried leaf thing? You have to see in bathrooms make it smell good. <laughs> Potpourri. Stinky. Edible. If you're brave enough. You don't drink perfume? I'm eating it right now. <laughs> I need water. I'm gonna say I don't need this, but I do like the texture. If it was a different flavor, like just straight up vanilla, this might have been pretty good. I would have liked it to be chewier and less crumbly. And I like the texture. Like I said, if it was just straight up something... You know what? I would chew on perfume. Not eat it like this. <laughs> I like your point. If it was chewy, it would be better. Do you want to chew your perfume? <laughs> yeah, this tastes like... That reminds me of like the bench white warmers. chocolate. Or the guy who eats the, or eats the sunscreen. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'd rather drink my sunscreen, to be perfectly honest. So, what's the verdict, y'all two? I don't like it. I don't like it either. I did not need this in my life. Oh, you know we got, it was this weird ice cream pistachio candy. Yeah, uh, it just... Is there any more? Smell it. Ah. Uh -huh. It tastes the way it smells. It was okay. You ate it? It was it's growing on me was... after smell. The first smell was... Well, it's a I shame mean, I would wear it. You're not going to get to eat it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I, would I would rather wear it than eat it. Next one's also yeah, I would, back. I would have yeah. deodorant. That tasted like... Uh, that tasted like what deodorant... Like It tasted and had the consistency of deodorant. Say, it was literally deodorant. What do you know? We ate deodorant. We got tricked. I should have put <laughs> we it. Got I could make a really <laughs> offensive joke right now. We got you know, tricked say, like eating in, deodorant on camera. <laughs> you know, they say Indians don't wear deodorant. They, they eat say it. that? You've never heard that stereotype? No, I heard about Smash players, though. Mm. See, that's Same one of those jokes I might have to cut out. Caramel Choco Eclair. Eclair. Inspired by... Cream caramel. When you look at Indian desserts, you'll find this is syrup, also oh. syrupy gulab jamun, creamy rasmalai, and milky kaju katli. Uh, what do all of these sweets have in common? A soft, delicate texture. Ooh. That's why when European desserts came to the country, they didn't really take off. That is, non, none except cream caramel. The smooth, creamy, and luxurious dessert. Luxurious. Luxurious. Something for me. Does every I'm place need to yeah. make one of these and they have to give it to us? Yeah. Uh, where was I? Dessert oh. was exactly oh. what Indian Don't plates crave. In fact, it continues to be a favorite. Found in restaurants at home and in candies like these. Caramel is universal. And for some reason, they have to give it to us in every form. Every single box <laughs> has to have one of these. I mean, it tastes the same every time. Some of them are different. Like this one has a little filling. We'll give them that. And it is not as sweet. 
Actually, I, this is one of the better ones, to be honest. I like the filling. The filling is there, but it's not really overwhelming in mm -hmm. any form. Say that. Yes, yes it's very tight. Hi. <laughs> 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 Did he just nail that? Does he actually speak? I'm assuming that's Hindu. Or Hindi. Hindu. Hindi? I would I would <laughs> I'm gonna try this Hindi. one later. I would hope that it's Hindi. <laughs> How do you That's long. <laughs> okay, we'll probably say it later. I end up swallowing it, I don't feel like chewing it. <laughs> it's on my tooth. It's on all my teeth. Alright. Good? I think it's good. What do you think? I I think it's pretty good. I like that one. What that was one of the better caramels. Mmm. Mmm. I want to be controversial. You don't like it? No. Just be Mr. Controversial it, it, then. It was right. It's just okay. Why is it just okay and not good? Or <laughs> it was just caramel. But it had chocolate filling. I was kind of there. I didn't even taste the chocolate. <laughs> it wasn't okay, chocolate. That's... It was just filling. <laughs> I don't know that I would call it chocolate. It wasn't that much of a it filling. It says choco. It added a little to the texture for a bit, but... I'm gonna put okay for false advertising. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I still like it, though. <laughs> yeah, I still like it. Alrighty, then. So, this is a story of the apricot-flavored hard candy. No, just... Were you trying to <laughs> rap? <laughs> no, this is the story. Um, it's got a milky center, apparently. Why did the cow cross the road? Because when there are over five million of them wandering all across the country, crossing the street is bound to happen eventually. Seriously though, when walking second. around in India, don't be surprised to find a cow walking right alongside you. With so many of them in the country, it's only natural that milk products are widely consumed by just about it. everyone. From creamy curries a to milky sweets, you can apricot. find dairy in particularly everything. Practically, <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> practically everything. These creamy candies take a page out of the tradition of combining juicy apricot flavor with a milky soft center. Why did you have to shout apricot? Apricot! I said apricot, not apricot. Who said apricot? I don't know, he did. I'm sorry. Yeah. Apes jump in trees. <laughs> and they escape. But what about those Thai monkeys that pick coconuts all day? <coughs> <laughs> what am I joking? Yeah, what? <coughs> I'm sorry, I forgot that was a sensitive subject for you. <laughs> it really is. I don't know what that was. Um, the candy, then, however, I, I haven't got. I want to get to the center. I haven't gotten to the center of the Tunsi Pop yet. Okay. I mean, Fruity Pop. Do you like this fruit a lot or something? Apparently. Apparently. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Apricot. I want to get to the center. I'm gonna cheat. I don't like apricots though. What? It's more like apricots. The center is creamy. It is. Mm-hmm. It, it's it better be. It says creamy milky center. It better be creamy milky center. Okay. I broke it. I'm not gonna bite mine. I didn't mean to. It's pretty good. Also, I didn't get a filling. You did? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's a hard candy. Yeah. Um, once again, hard candies are never gonna be great. I need a marker. That was a that was an okay for hard as far as hard candy goes. One of the better ones. Once okay. Again. Yeah. Okay. I liked it. So. Yeah, I liked it. Alright, so so on pod pop that. Oh, can I add? This box was heavier than the other ones. It's because everything's it's big or in a box. There's like three oh, okay. other things I in the box. I thought you meant that little thing was heavy because it's Indian cotton candy with nuts and cardamom. Uh -huh. You read that right? Well, what you're getting like right it's, now? It's kind of. It's not light. It's not light. That's not <laughs> cotton candy. Uh, it's none other than cotton candy. But not the kind you're used to. Well, so on pop that the shares the same melt in your mouth. Oh my God. Oh, I all I take love. Off this. It also kicks things up a notch by adding chickpea flavor. Oh, chickpea, chickpea flour. Oh. Nuts and warm cardamom spice. These super flaky and super super tasty. That's Treat. the thing that grossed you out that one time. Chickpeas. The cardamom. Oh yeah, cardamom. That was the potpourri thing. Treat is a uh, popular across India and it's a personal favorite of ours as well. Oh. It's that super, super tasty. I better, oh my god. I better. There's layers upon layers. Dude, I want to open this. Super, I love these little containers. Yes. How are we supposed to eat this? Uh oh. <laughs> you, need, you need spoons? Uh, maybe? Or is it split? We need you. Oh, I'm just squeezing uh. it. Oh, you're squeezing it. Jacob, stop. Jacob, stop. Don't. 
<laughs> Jacob? Jacob. Jacob. Why would you do that? Wow. We're gonna do this like- You ruined Christmas. I might have to cut this. Did you say- <laughs> You know what we do? Do you need a lighter too? <laughs> <laughs> Grab us a lighter. He uses a plastic <laughs> spoon to light. <laughs> I get the fumes, it makes it better. Oh, it actually works oh, really it well. It is f oh, f Marty! It is very uh, flaky. Right I'm just gonna flaky. eat it, I'd show it to the camera. There's nuts and stuff. It's nuts. <laughs> I get Put my nuts face. in your mouth? I do that on the regular. <laughs> on, it's focused on my Jacob, hand. Show me on this <laughs> doll. Whatever. I tried it. This is weird. Eat it. I want to try. You've eaten everything else. Uh, guest no, uh, studio audience. This is gonna be super super tasty. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. I'm gonna like. I don't hate it. But I hate I the fact that it exists. I kind of want to eat more, but it's, <laughs> I hate it. it's got. Why does this look like chicken salad? <laughs> I Look, I am gonna show the camera after all. Why is it so bright? It's chicken salad. <laughs> See, look, salad. that looks like chicken salad. This does not look like a sweet. It's very. It's sandy. also hard to spit out. It's so. <laughs> well, it like <laughs> took up my whole mouth. I couldn't do anything with it. In there, <laughs> over there, it's like he's dying. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. I, a, I couldn't swallow it. My mouth. It was like eating those uh, those biscuits with no give me the with no, no drink. <laughs> the, the, the biscuit meme. Yeah. I like yeah. it. Let me snack on it while you do. Okay. Do you actually want to eat some more? It literally it felt like eating flavored sand. That was weird. Not even flavored, just sand. Or cardamom flavor. I'm going to say okay. Like? I'm going to say okay. You know what sand I do. I do know what sand tastes like. Uh, sand sand is better than that. He actually. ate mud in my yard. Well, he didn't eat it, but he stuck it in his mouth for some reason. <laughs> I have done that. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll give it and I don't need this. This made him depressed. Life. I say it's okay, because I kind of want to eat more of it. It was an interesting experience, and the flavor... I can't get it out of my mouth. I don't know. Apparently it's Blanca's now, though. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> don't eat all of it. <laughs> you can't tell me what I want some more lighter, Dale. It's got anything to mask the taste. I can't get it out of my mouth. Here. Uh, well, that's going to be another strong flavor. It's not like a sweet or anything. It's really good. Anything. Catch. What's the next thing? Um, another box? Blue bag. Oh, it's in blue? Uh-uh. Our thing has this next. To foods. Why is it? What? Yours okay. is ordered. Show the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's ordered dumb. Like uh, you have to. You, have to you see this? You have to make that U-turn. Maybe that's what they do in India. Yeah. You see how it's ordered? Oh, it's ordered like an Indian magazine. It's weird. Anyways, here's <laughs> that thing we're about to eat. Melty choco filled cookies. Chocolates. Chocolates. It's by that same brand who did the chocolate Ooh. cookies. Mm. These are also chocolate cookies. Tastes like girl power. What does that mean? I'm scared. All right. I don't want to taste it. Was crunchy and filled with the meltiest, creamiest chocolate you've ever eaten? Girl the power. answer, girl power. No, these cookies. But decadent chocolate isn't the only thing they're filled with. They're also filled with an they're amazing story. Right. You hear that? An amazing story. Yeah, Ronji yeah. Vector started Fumico oh. as one of the one-woman backyard bakery, and her passion for making breads and cookies helped bring the business Oops. to a global stage. One bite is all it takes to see exactly why. I always add in like six words. Okay. One bite. <laughs> I feel like I add, like passed out some like drugs. <laughs> all right, boys. Non-labeled bags. Lit. It looks like a it looks like a Nilla wafer, but chocolate chocolate filled and big. Ultra big. It's white. Ooh, good. I like this. So good and so tasty. The flavors are melting on my tongue. I've never seen so many crumbs on our scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, it's That's really messy. <laughs> There's a lot of Everything's stuff. really crumbly. You could call that a crumbly cookie. <laughs> I just have the it. cookie crumbles. <laughs> That's not funny. I like it. Nice. I don't know what sulfite is, but there may be some in there. That's some that's the good stuff. That's one that may contain. That's the flavor ingredient they call it. Why? Because it's in there. Everyone says super duper good. <laughs> that was super duper good, dude. Girl power. <laughs> that's what women taste like. <laughs> that's what women taste like. All right. Well, I'll let the y'all know a member of the studio audience is female, so I may have offended them. I'm marrying them. It's okay. I can do that. I can offend them.
<laughs> That's definitely not picked up on the mic. You're gonna have to subtitle that. I put the wrong subtitle, like make myself sound worse. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> it's okay, I can be sexist because I'm a male. <laughs> that make it worse than what I actually said. Make more pistachio. Nut butter. Let me put it to the camera! These boxes have an interesting texture. We don't get texture. boxes with this. Buttery biscuits fit for more royalty. biscuits. It's no Buttery secret that people in India are nuts about nuts. Nuts. But well, where does the obsession come from? Nuts. Look no further than the medieval Mughal Empire. I, I hope I said that right. How does spell? It's M U G H A L. Yeah, Mughal. Yeah. Uh, royals would eat nuts and dried fruit as a way of demonstrating their he rich heritage and the association. Well, no one else would do that. Yeah. <laughs> Literally no one. <laughs> Nobody puts nuts in their mouths. While nuts like almonds and pistachios are now widely available, they're still considered a top-tier gift. Would you believe that an assortment of nuts trumps even gourmet chef-crafted desserts? Mind blown. It tastes like a vanilla wafer. I was hoping there'd be a cross-section. I did not. I, know I was going to say, that's not a vanilla wafer. I don't know what you, when the last time you had one was. Okay, it's not exactly like a Nilla Wafer, but like imagine you stuck stuff in the Nilla Wafer. That's what it tastes like. Okay, I can I can agree more. Like the with base that. is a Nilla Wafer. Was there coconut? No, it was almond. That's weird. And pistachio. Almond and pistachio. Mm -hmm. Almond and pistachio. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow, what is it? Almond and pistachio. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. How I you? stuck it in my mouth and I liked it. You can take any of his quotes out of context. <laughs> He says the worst thing half the time. <laughs> <laughs> Victor won't stop staring me down. I just say evil things sometimes. They're just outright rude, mean. He's sus. Mad sus. And he's... Well, he's we already available. know he's gay. I just made you available because I could. You're legal now. It's okay. I really wanted to be calling him gay, Austin. You don't even have a girlfriend. You've come out on either. the channel three times. Oh, they broke up? Well, she's underage. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> So, what, so he's a rumor. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> She's under it. I'm gonna put a police siren like in the back. <laughs> Just start flashing. I'm gonna put a banging sound and cut to like. And you've come out on the show, right? FBI over. I really thought someone knocked <laughs> over there. That'd be freaky or something. <laughs> Sweet and salty rice flakes, a tangy tea time tradition. After a long day of exploring, you find yourself. Wait, this is like a, this is like a narrative. You find yourself After getting hungry, but it's too early for dinner. Lucky for you, most Indian families enjoy 5 p.m. tea time. Why is 5 p.m. too early for dinner? No, oh, but it's too early for dinner. <laughs> so you meet up with your new friends and start sipping some this hot chai. This is sweet and salty, right? But what's the tea time so without sweet. snacks? That's where Kata What is that? <laughs> What? What's that? It's what is that? Uh, that's where like it comes in. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it really does. It looks a like crunchy trail mix of dried peas, nuts, rice flakes, and palm starch. This sweet, salty, crunchy mix makes for the ultimate pre Trying to get a little work out of everything. No, it's okay. Just a snack. Or midday or midnight. Or oh, no. my, fell on my best. I like this. This is good. I love eating bird food. Uh, There's a dried pea. Taste a pea. Yes. <laughs> I like this though. I hate it. You hate it? I hate it so much. What's wrong with it? Oh. Gross. I don't like this. Why is it gross? I'm not a bird. <laughs> oh, I am. It Damn. Tastes, yeah, it tastes like bird food. So. Give me a bird food. Martin's a bird. Yes, a little bird. Oh, the bit like I just got in. Like, I don't know what thing that was. I don't like dried peas, and I don't like being a bird. It's the pea that's weird. Everything else is good. Oh, really? Don't eat yeah, a pea. Don't eat pea. Pea. Pe you don't like the... Peas? Peas. I think the pea has the weird flavor. Everything else though tastes fine. Ew, ew, ew. I like it. I don't care what y'all think. It's I, delicious. I it's not delicious. It's okay. Take it away. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, I kind of like it, but like it is a little weird. So I'm gonna say okay, okay. No, he just cheated on you. She okay with that? <laughs> as long as it's gay. <laughs> as long as it's... it's okay. Okay. Man, gay privileges. I want to keep eating it, but it's okay. I don't want to keep. It. I don't know. I, don't, I have a weird relationship with it. Thank you. It's like a long distance relationship with a food I'm never gonna eat again. <laughs> 
That's exactly how I feel about that uh, that snack from last time that I couldn't get. The enough. coconut those, one? Those chips. No, not the coke. Those are good. The those party? Good. Yeah, party. Choco hazelnut flavored cookies. Hey, it's like Nutella. Oh, it says like Nutella. <laughs> it actually says it on there. Like Nutella. Fact. Indian sweets are tasty. Fact. If it weren't for India, you wouldn't have sweets at all. That's because no. India was the first place where sugar was refined into crystals. So granulated sugar is India. Could you Thanks. imagine a universal yum box without any sweets in it? Uh, yeah, kind of. We live. We, we live. I can't imagine that. Uh, mm. Excuse us while we quietly cry in the corner. Thank you, brother. <laughs> they colored the little tray different. I would cry. Uh, so when you take a bite out of your favorite cookie, which coincidentally is about to become this one, be sure to say thank you, India. So this is the third chocolate cookie? Yeah. It's hazelnut. It has a bit of a roasted marshmallow flavor. Yeah, kind of. I like it. This is good. It's I like, like hazelnut. A, it's like a charred marshmallow. That's weird. I like it, though. I kind of get what you're saying, but that's just kind of like what chocolate hazelnut tastes like. But not Nutella. And it very Nutella's clearly, just also really sweet. Yeah, but it very clearly says Nutella twice on here. Nutella has way too much sugar. <laughs> It does. That's why I eat it out of the jar every day. That's why I suck it off my finger every I spend two hundred dollars a month on Nutella. <laughs> what? What is it? I don't know what I think about. Have that. you watched how he's been drawing? He'll do the eyes first, but then the mouth completely changes it. <laughs> I wasn't. I thought you. Were, I was like, you hate this. <laughs> it's a happy do you want face. a whole? He's, he's, it's like the roller coaster of emotions thing. That's why he actually has a girlfriend. He just plays with their emotions like that. He Bro, crinkles his eyebrows and then. Oh. More nuts. It's a mix. Yo, we're nuts about nuts, dude. Crispy <laughs> nuts. dried chickpeas and peanuts with Indian spices. While your parents struggle to get you to eat your vegetables, children in India were gobbling them they up. They can't stop. Gusto. That's because more than 400 million people live there and that are vegetarian. That's more than any other country in the world. It's thanks to their, the to this high population that we get foods like chana masala, chickpea, curry, and these crispy chickpea snacks. Gotta give it some, like both nuts, you know what I'm saying, both nuts. This is done by the same people that did that other thing, the rice thingy. Oh, this is almost like hummus. hummus. Uh, it's just like, it's like a traditional like hummus. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, that's, that's just unblended hummus. I don't really like it. Like, I wouldn't eat this myself, personally. Well, yeah. so, I feel like I wouldn't like this. I say like that, this. but I'm reaching for it. Actually, I feel like I wouldn't like this if I didn't know what hummus was. If but what the was? fact that it tastes like hummus oh. makes me like it. No, but hummus, I would not eat hummus by itself, ever. I have. <laughs> like you would Nutella? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Actually, I like you know it. I like it. Something. I kind of want to keep eating it, so I'm going to say okay. I'm okay, too. I thought you just said it was okay. It is okay. <laughs> then why are you mad? Because <laughs> I'm you mad. Started... You said okay? Yeah, it's okay. You said bad. I said great. He loved it. What are you talking about? Why do you love it, He disrespects your nuts. opinions. In your mouth. In your mouth. <laughs> he can't deny it. <laughs> he can't deny it. He just loves a nut. Now we get to put balls in our mouth. How do you feel about that? He must be so excited to three boy. Did you say he's so happy that he's yellow? Anyway, a chocolatey bite of perfection. I was gonna say perfume. This is the oh, this is a, a wafer. All Chocolate these little candies perfect. are wrapped in paper. We haven't even mentioned that. Yeah, they all have been, which is very <laughs> nice touch. Just when you thought chocolate was as perfect as it could be, they wrap it in a wafer and then dip it in even more chocolate. Perfect now? <laughs> it's about to be. The folks over at Bake Me, creators of this treat, set up their their game by giving back to their community through supporting charities and funding scholarships. Now that... What'd you do to Jacob? He was staring her in the eye as he put a ball in his mouth. I don't know. Don't make that face. What'd you do? What face? I don't know. I missed it. It tastes like, you know, the secret molten milk balls, right? The Whoppers, that. is that what they're called? Yeah, Whoppers. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Can you eat it? Or what's that candy bar? Uh, whatchamacallit? <laughs> you, know what that's, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> is that what these taste like? Am I remembering that right? I don't remember what those taste like. I think it might be the whatchamacallit, because I remember... Do I remember saying? No. No, it's, literally. It's, it's called a whatchamacallit. Oh, what? No, that's... <laughs> that's what oh, the candy bar That's is why called. we were laughing. He was like, what is it? A whatchamacallit. <laughs> No, that's what it reminds me of. 
Oh my it's like I an like inside that. out Kit Kat. Is someone dying? I kind of, yeah. Phone. But they still dipped it in chocolate. <laughs> That's good. Oh, stuck in my mouth. No, I really like that. It was happy, so it turned yellow. <laughs> it turned it yellow. It turned yellow. It turned we never pissed. had the yellow marker. <laughs> never had so, it. So, brown's just a sad color. A. <laughs> 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 I don't think you can say that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it though. Make sure you subtitle it so in case. In case you don't hear it, right? Hey. <laughs> we're half brown. We're half depressed. <laughs> we're not full kind of depressed half. like them. What? Wait. What was the it's, verdict? It's the I said it was good. 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 Yeah. Alright, it's good all around. <laughs> you didn't like it, then you'd be a liar. Marta would be a liar. Because it tastes like a Kit Kat. You're a fibber jibber. It didn't really. It was worse than Kit Kat, I can say that. It's not like a Kit Kat. It's, oh, huh? it's Kit Kat like, but it's not a Kit Kat. Alright, cappuccino flavored candy. A sweet fit for a saint. Uh, drinking coffee nice. may be common today, but back in the 17th century, moving up uh, unroasted coffee beans out of the. Arabia, out of Arabia, Arabia was okay. illegal. That was illegal? You couldn't steal coffee beans from Arabia. That's a hard candy. Uh, they didn't stop India Muslim Saint Baba Buba Budan. Baba Budan. Baba Budan. Baba 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 from smuggling the beans in his beard, allowing Indians <laughs> to grow their own. Now, coffee shops. Did they grow first. them in their beards? Yeah. <laughs> Cross the like country. A hipster up to the max. What a saint. This is why everyone needs a Gandalf beard. Needs. Everyone needs this. Can need. I open? This is the easiest <laughs> thing to open. <laughs> 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 I had a candy like it before. I can't, can't open, open it. I, I can't. I can't open it. Oh my god. How did I open it? Hold up. I did it. <laughs> I figured it out. You know, so I ripped Jacob, it. Jacob loosened it for you. I ripped it open wrong. Like, no, he didn't open it. What? He lied. Oh, yours did the same thing? Yeah. Well, that oh. one did the right thing. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Just so you know, this, this, this tastes like wrapper coffee. Wrapper. What's the wrapper? What's the I don't like coffee. <laughs> well, I really do, so I like this. It tastes a lot like another coffee candy I've had, though. This tastes like star how Starbucks smells. <laughs> Starbucks uh, smells better than it tastes, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree with that. Yeah, if you want coffee, go to any other coffee shop and you'll probably be happier. For half yeah, the price. I like it with the wrapper a lot better. <laughs> the plastic is better. It tastes like a little. It's a sweet coffee. I can't commit coffee. to this actually. This is. It's really hard. It's a sweet coffee. So if you really don't like to, tell me about coffee. You're just not gonna like this. At all. But if you like coffee and you like hard candy, so I like it. But yeah, I know y'all don't. <laughs> Jacob's really bad at drawing with it. <laughs> that is that is so good at drawing. What do you think it is? <laughs> what did you, what did you, An old sounded, man mouth. He sounded so hurt. What did you think it <laughs> was? Sorry, dude. I didn't mean it. Alright, if you if you like Doritos, this is not it. This is not a <laughs> Dorito. <laughs> if you like Doritos, stop. This is, that's not what it says. Alright, chili pepper corn chips. Uh, spicy chips made with peri peri chilies. Peri peri Where is this from? India. India. Oh, I thought I heard UK earlier. Was that yeah, the we were one? talking about a previous one. The UK box. saw them before 1946. And then, oh, yeah, I was like, true. man, the UK eats some weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Crunch into these corn chips and be instantly transported to Kari Baoli. Hell! The largest spice market. Can you, you just reached my crotch, oh. dude! Teleportation you... is my number one superpower that I want. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled Jacob more than I did the chip. That was weird. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, merchants on this bustling street have been Wait, in did business you for generations. I didn't go anywhere. With over seventy-five percent of the world's spices coming from <laughs> India, it's no wonder everything Austin. from garlic to peri peri peppers can be found on both sides. Oh, on both at this market and in this bag. How do you think it would feel to put hot sauce on a sunburn? Not that bad. I have to try it now. This chip brand is very uh, corn chippy. Wow. Like the flavors they put like on. It's almost like they're called <laughs> cornitos. Cornitos. <laughs> Wait, these but like the Indian. flavors aren't that strong. This one's definitely stronger than the last one. They're gluten free. I like these. Put the gluten back. It's in. Just like a subtle, like it's it's almost so. With American corn chips that are flavored, you are eating Does something that like doesn't it? taste like a corn chip. Um, but I think you like it. Yeah, I like it. All right, let me so, like, smile better. But with, with these foreign chips, I feel like they try and capture more the flavor of the chip and then add to it. But why do I need to flavor the chip? That's the weird thing to me. Like, it's a... 
It tastes like a corn or a potato. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's what what's happening here. Is it's just not very flavorful because they want to be able to taste. So it's corn. like you're eating a seasoned potato, but it's like in a bag, I guess, is how they yeah, care, yeah. or seasoned corn. I guess that's fair. Do I really like that? Hold up, you might have to make my face weird. What do you wait? What do you say? Okay. You're saying okay. Change mine to okay. Like, just give me a little like. I like them. They're pretty. There good. you go. <laughs> These are. Uh, I think that's okay. No, <laughs> it's better than the other one, but it's still just okay. Yay! Twin cream. Ooh, orange cream. vanilla. Orange vanilla is one of the best combos in existence, so I'm ready for this. Dude, I love orange Record vanilla. Record-breaking deliciousness. Really? The last time they said that, I was I'm not very satisfied. Okay, yeah. right, how many of these orange orangey cookies can you eat in three minutes? Well, so let's start. <laughs> go, yes, go, that's go, a go, great go. challenge, or at least it was for. I can eat all of them in one minute. Hi, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, who holds the world record for most oranges peeled and eaten in three minutes? It was seven. By yeah, the yeah, that, that. Wait, the most oranges peeled and eaten in three minutes is seven. Three minutes? That's a lot of oranges. Three minutes peeled and eaten oranges. But it's a world record. Like, yeah. you should be able to do something more impressive than all that I can do. You can't do that. I can do that. You can't do that. I'm doing that. You can't do that. Well. Oh. But it tastes like straight up orange when you first bite it. Like really? not like orange flavor, like orange. Get you, get you, yeah. No, these are actually really good. Though. I like these it. like orange Oreos. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. Orange Oreos. Orange Oreos. Good thing we have orange. Oh yeah, dude. Stop! Don't no. We abuse miners around here. Wait. You're no Wait. Miner. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Now we can punch you in the noggin, and the boogeyman won't come after us. I like that. That was cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I also like that face. It was a cool face. <laughs> oh, it's that brand of chips that have been kind of weird. Shakara <laughs> loose spiral snack. It looks like those grandma cookies. It's spiral snack. It's more like a... Is it not sweet? It's more like a churro. I right. hope it's sweet. No, it's not sweet at all. It's cumin flavored. What? Someone cooned in these? <laughs> cumin flavored. There's an old Tamil saying about this crunchy snack. Toothless grandfather wants a Chikaralu. What? <laughs> My toothless grandfather oh, would okay. like one. So it's, it, the phrase means it's like some, you want something even though you shouldn't want it. Oh, because you it's don't need it because it's crunchy, crunchy and you don't have teeth. And you would die. Okay, so the original saying was actually refers to maruku, which is a similar snack oh, that inspired crunchy. behind the South Indian delicacy. But let's be honest, the saying doesn't really apply in either case because we need more right now. Oh, this looks like um, uh -uh. calamari. That's what I thought when I grabbed it. Oh, man. These things aren't like chips. They taste like just normal food. That's what's kind of weird about uh -uh. them. Uh -uh. What do you mean normal food? I mean, not normal. It's like food, not a chip. We're not Indian chip, but this isn't normal to us. Yeah. It's very strong chickpea, chickpea, trip, chickpea flavor. It's interesting, I'll give it that. It's too crunchy. It is really crunchy. How do you eat? And it's definitely cumin flavored. I feel like it coomed in my mouth. No. <laughs> cumin. It cumin my taste buds. That's not a recovery like at all. <laughs> Every time you speak, it just gets worse. I like eating cumin. Every time I think of cumin, I think of that... Uh, Episode of Drake and Josh where they're trying to make I think right, it was like waffles for a day. With a Q. But he was allergic. Like he was like I thought he put like he wants cinnamon on the pancakes, oh, right? Oh yeah. So he's like you put cumin on pancakes, and he like nearly died because he's allergic to it. Yeah, I remember that. Wait, what do you I, you don't like it? Not really. Not a fan. And I'll agree with that. Just keep one big sad face. If that's what you're doing. See, that one looks like it could smile. But he's just upset. He has a mustache and he's smiling slightly. No, he's got his mouth open. No, this is like a. Oh. It's a. So. Are you crying? <laughs> I didn't want the box to end. <laughs> this did, box was we kind of weird. We finished. The snacks were. Str I really like the biscuits. Yeah, all of those biscuits. Whew. It's time for weirdest, worst, favorite, the greatest segment of the show. Yeah! <laughs> I'm really glad y'all did that. <laughs> I always feel like I have to improvise everything. So Nine! Nice. Definitely <laughs> number one. Favorite. We're doing weirdest! Shut up! Oh, sorry. <laughs> the last one? The weirdest? No, not even the last one. It was um the the, the cotton candy. The cotton number candy was one. weird. Yeah, oh, 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 the cotton candy's got to be weirdest. There's no argument on that. That's the weirdest. Yeah, you cannot. 
say any other idea. Hold up, studio audience has something to say. What's the weirdest, huh? No, I don't think that one was the weirdest. What was the weirdest? What other one was weirder? The one that Yaksa tasted like bird. The bird food? Alright, that was pretty weird, but it was also it's just like trail mix. I don't think it's the weirdest, it's because it, like, it's a weird for It could have been the worst. Have you had cotton candy like that, though? No, but I like it. Have you had anything like that? I want to say an insensitive joke. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something offensive. I want to be racist. I was just thinking, right? I, I was just, you know, in my mind, the thought crossed my head. <laughs> I just right, worse. Like, why did we give women the opinions? <laughs> Let's discuss women's wrongs. Enough of women's rights. Enough about the rights. What about the wrongs? Do we think the worst is the bird food? Is there anything we all hated? There's a couple the of pistachio yeah. ice cream. We all hated that. Yeah. Yeah, but and then the chip at the end. Favorite. It, it made me uncomfortable, but I wasn't upset. Mm. There's nothing else we all agreed that we hated, like those so, two. So I can agree the last one was pretty bad. It was the last one, and then the pistachio ice cream, because those we all three said no. Mm -hmm. What about I, I didn't four? like. I didn't like eighteen. Oh, was just number four wasn't okay. okay. Was okay. I can't tell what those eyes is gonna trip me out. <laughs> It's like wham, he got wham, 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 wham. So, which one more inclined to think then? I think the last one. The last one. Yeah, it's just too. I. I'd I rather. Guess. I'd rather eat number five. I'd, ra again. I'd rather eat five again than yeah. Those chips. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up eating a few just because I need your bowl. Well, I, I can mean, throw away. <laughs> those were not as hard to get through. I feel like the ice cream was actually grosser though, like flavor wise. It flavor was, wise. I mean, it was, yeah, flavor wise. But I think it was more enjoyable overall. Just because it was like a stronger flavor. Though. It was easier to eat, but it tasted worse. <laughs> I would rather wear it. I would put it in my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good review for something you're supposed to eat. I'd rather put it in my armpits. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, the Sashio, Can I the, wear whatever this was called, arm number 18. Um, Mujalakarahai kai behatar ho sakatahai. Oh, yes, yes. Mm. I think it could be better. <laughs> That's what that means. The oh, other one uh, is... I, I was going to say, I think your pronunciation... But this is the other one. Uh, I don't like it. Once again, I think it could be better. Probably hey. could be, but... <laughs> I like trying to no. say foreign things. I just wanted you to say that it meant that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I like trying to say foreign things. It's fun. <laughs> no, but if you read all of them and just all said that... It could be at the end. <laughs> Okay, fine. Shut up, nerd. Um, okay, let, number what, one was really high up. One was pretty good. Um, what? Oh no, no. That's all the biscuits. Are pretty nice good. was good. Number nine. We have the but chocolate, the chocolate thing. That was pretty good. Yeah, I the think orange cream cookies. I think number nine. The the chocolate filled chocolate cookie. Number nine. I can agree with that. Nines. I think I was more excited over the orange cookie personally, but that I can was, agree with that. The the orange cookie was good, but. But you it see, was... the number nine just made me. I love a chocolate. Bit more. I love chocolate. I like chocolate a lot too. That's why I'm saying I will agree with that. Even though I was more yeah. excited for the orange. I just love chocolate. So number nine. Orange flavor is not oh, a common one in these. Number nine. Because you know every everybody loves chocolate. So like it's a common. Ah, but the orange flavor is really not a lot. Wow, well, we did it. Ow. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Uh, we finished another box. Uh, come back next time when uh, we do something else, I guess. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. There's a little puzzle. Hold it says on! <laughs> <laughs> we still need to do the trivia video. We'll make that a part of it. Okay, fine. Shovel 606 eats. Gonna need some more treats. We gotta decide if they need only the heat. See you again soon. Next time, bring a spoon. Put in the work and then get dessert. Go ahead, come on over. We'll go and get some boba. Some that's fried, some that's green, some that's chilled. Oh, dang, I think something spilled. All right, waiter, pass the bill. It's...